All right, calm down, Mr. Pissed Off Hammock Guy. It's just a thumbnail. It's gonna be okay. Dude, dude. I mean, what the f were you thinking? I don't actually think that hammocks suck. In fact, I actually like hammocks quite a bit. I've been backpacking with a hammock a lot. Hell, I've even jerked off in a hammock. So you might be like, okay, then why did you put hammock suck in the thumbnail with huge freaking letters? And that's because I'm an asshole. All right, so the point of this video isn't gonna be to just like shit all over hammocks and hammock camping, although that would be a pretty fun video, let's be honest. The point of this video is to talk about... <clears throat> the point of this video is to talk about my trans... The point of this vid... <sighs> what the f*** is the point of this video? The point of this video is to talk about how I switched from a hammock system to a tent system this past summer, and after using my tent system for a couple hundred miles, I'm guessing maybe like 200 to 300 miles, something in that range, I feel like it's time for me to finally share my thoughts on the transition. Because before the summer, I had pretty much never backpacked with a tent system before. And spoiler alert, as you probably saw in the thumbnail and title, I think I like the tent system better. I'm not gonna lie, but again, this is just my experience. I haven't used every single tent out there. I haven't used every single hammock out out there and then at the end of the video I'm going to answer the question that absolutely nobody gives a shit about will I ever go back to a hammock camping setup for backpacking you're gonna find out in just a second so the first thing I need to talk about is the difference in setup from my hammock and my tent this is make the difference in setup between my hammock and my tent so actually even before that I should probably mention what my actual hammock and tents are. For pretty much all of my backpacking trips before I switched to a tent, I used a Hennessy hammock, one of their like ultralight ones, and then I also had a regular, I think it's called the Expedition. It's been a while, honestly, but I, I was pretty much all Hennessy hammock, and I love those things. Hennessy hammock is an amazing company, and my tent is a big ass, haha, <laughs> big Agnes Fly Creek UL2 tent. I like to set up the tent way more than the hammock. And I'm gonna say, I know that there are easier hammock systems to set up, but at least with my hammock, it was such a pain in the ass to set that thing up because I mean, you just had to like tie all these knots. And if you like got the spacing between the trees wrong, you had to like untie the knot and retie the knot. And I know like whoopee slings are a thing and there's some clips and stuff that I never really got into. I wasn't enough of a hammock nerd to like find myself on hammock forums, like fighting with people in the comment sections about which freaking whoopee slings are better and stuff. But I really did not like setting up my hammock and the big Agnes Fly Creek on the other hand super easy to set up I can set that thing up in like two or three minutes maybe that's probably a stretch it's probably like five minutes and on my Appalachian Trail through hike I found that at the end of it like a long hiking day the last thing I wanted to do is spend like 20 minutes I don't know if it actually took 20 minutes it probably took me 20 minutes most of the time setting up my hammock and like tying all these knots and I was like pretty careful about like my rain fly too because I wanted to make sure I wasn't gonna you know, get rained on. And so it was just a huge pain in the ass, but the tent is much, much easier. I will say if I'm talking about rain, to be fair, it's definitely better to sleep in a hammock when it's raining because like, you know, there's nothing underneath you. And so if you're in a tent, like there could be, it's just, I, you, I feel like you understand. Basically what I'm saying is setting up a tent is superior from my experience with my specific tents and hammocks that I've used so far. However, I'm sure there's easier hammocks to set up, so leave a comment if you have a hammock system that's a lot easier to set up than a tent. I would be very curious to hear about that. The next thing on the list I wanna talk about is storing gear inside of like the hammock versus inside of the tent. This, in my opinion, hands down goes to the, the tent, like it's not even close. And I feel like this is one of the things that's not just unique to my specific like hammock. I feel like this is just a universal thing with all hammocks, but I could be wrong. So Mr. Hammock Forms nerd in the comments, let me know if I am. Not that I need to tell him, I'm sure he would have anyways. One of the really awkward things with my hammock, even though I use it for so long, I, I feel like I never really found a way to like properly store my gear when I was like sleeping, right? So basically what I would end up doing is keeping all of like my small all essential things like my headlamp and phone and like wallet and that stuff in the pocket that runs along the ridge line. Do I have armpit stains? And then the rest of my gear I would just like put in my backpack and then just put my backpack inside of a trash compactor bag and then just like seal it shut and put it you know underneath the hammock or whatever. I don't know it just like felt weird just like a freaking bag of shit underneath my hammock. I, I don't know I just didn't like it. <laughs> 
But with the tent, however, it's way easier to store gear because I can actually bring stuff inside the tent. And one thing I was thinking about right before this is I never really filmed my hikes with like a big camera like I have right now back when I was using a hammock still. But if I was, I like don't know what I would do with the camera if I was sleeping in the hammock because I feel like it would have been too big and bulky and heavy to bring inside the hammock with me. But I also wouldn't have wanted to just put it in that bag of shit underneath the hammock either. So I'm not really sure what I would do. I know there's some YouTubers watching this right now that carry big cameras and sleep in hammocks so once again leave a comment is it? Let's talk about comfort. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that a tent is more comfortable than a hammock. It's not, at least from my experience. It's definitely not. The hammock is more comfortable. However, I think that tents are not like that much less comfortable than a hammock. And I should probably clarify, it's more about the sleeping pad, obviously, than the actual tent. And so my sleeping pad is the Thermarest Neo Air X Lite. And yeah, it's like a good sleeping pad, but it's definitely not as comfortable as the hammock. But it's definitely still worth it in my opinion. I think all of the other like pluses that I'm talking about in this video make the slight like decline in comfort completely worth it in my opinion. I mean, that's basically what I wrote in my notes here is like hammocks are more comfortable but not enough to make it worth it to still have a hammock. This is the thing that I was like really worried about when I switched to a tent system for the first time because on my Appalachian Trail through hike, I tell people this all the time and they're always really surprised. I got the best, like the, the most consistent, like good, best, amazing, whatever you want to call it, sleep of my entire life. That's partially probably due to the fact that I was just like walking and farting all day for so many freaking days in a row. <laughs> But I also think part of it is due to the hammock. So I think the real test of which one wins out is once I go do another long distance through hike with my tent and like then I can compare the sleep. And that kind of brings me to another thing. I definitely sleep warmer in a tent, which makes me like more inclined to use it because I live in the Northeast and it gets pretty cold up here sometimes. And so I just feel like I can take my, wait, I lost my beer, hold on. I am more confident taking my tent system to a lower temperature than my hammock system with pretty much the same gear setup. Now I know there's under quilts. I know there's ways to make a hammock like work in really, really low temperatures. I'm not saying it's not possible. I'm just saying for the gear that I have, I can definitely get more bang for my buck in terms of temperature in my tent than I can with a hammock. And speaking of underquilts, that kind of brings me into my next point. I don't know, I don't like to use underquilts. I have one, I haven't really used it that much. And the reason is because I like to sleep in shelters, which are pretty abundant on here. Nope, that's not how you talk. Pretty abundant here in the Northeast. Yeah, that's what I meant. Places like the Adirondacks, the Long Trail, the Appalachian Trail. If I just had a hammock, right, I wouldn't be able to stay in the shelters because I'd have an underquilt. Or I would have to carry a sleeping pad, which would probably be a, a foam sleeping pad, which means if I decide to use it in a shelter, it's not going to be as comfortable. And then also in the hammock, I feel like it probably wouldn't give me as much insulation as an underquilt will. So it's just like a bunch of different things. And at the end of the day, I'm like, ah, f it, I'll use the tent. My next point is that which Whichever system Dan Becker uses, I will use the opposite. I think the last thing we need to talk about is if I will ever use a hammock ever again in my entire life. The thing you've all watched this far into the video to see, right? Because I know you're just dying to know what this random dumbass YouTuber is gonna do in the future when he wants to like, you know, sleep and like do all that stuff when he's hiking or whatever. So here's my answer, ready? Drum roll. <laughs> I gotcha, but no, you should actually do it. Okay, so my answer, I think I will. I don't think I'll use one of the hammocks that I have right now, but I do have some interest in like creating a whole new hammock system because I've never made any like DIY gear really besides a really shitty cat food can stove that just basically almost burnt my house down. So I would like to maybe make my own hammock someday or at least like piece together a like custom hammock system. I'm not really interested in buying another like all-in-one system like the Hennessy, which again is, is, is great if you're first starting out, but I think I could get a lighter weight system and just a easier to use system if I just customized it to my liking. The problem is I don't really know how to do that and I don't want to go on hammock forums because I'm not an asshole. I don't even know why I'm on the people on hammock forums like I've never even been to that website they're probably they're probably awesome so I'm sorry hammock forums people what I should have said is that I am lazy and don't feel like doing the research so you should leave a comment 
in the comment section below and tell me how to get started on that because maybe this will be something I do next summer. Comment some hammocks I should look at, some some tarps, some comment what the f a whoopee sling is. Like I feel like I still don't even know what a whoopee sling is. And again, you should subscribe to this channel if you found any value in this video. You should also subscribe if you found no value in this video because that's probably the scenario most of you are in right now. Hit the notification bell. <laughs>